simply this is formations. Formations are a variety of Rome Total War and 300. That's a little bit of modern times. We're going over the infantry right now. Oh, uh, that's a touching mixture of modern day and 300. That's supposedly our family. It's a little loose on the there. You hardly use it. We only use it for a few seconds. Can't see my backyard. Turn right there, close. I just dropped her helmet. Cute. I thought they broke the battle. A mixture of Troy, so it was 300. That's a loose and tight formation. We got that from Rome for a war. We didn't really use that much in the film. It's about face. Just different facing movements. We're trying to get the movement into a deep discipline. So we can stand out instead of the barbarian. We probably really used to go, because uh, uh, we were about uh, like seven million in total. So, yeah. About this. Attention. Oh. Again, this is like in the backyard. Also here, this is out in the street, it's getting dark. It's my girlfriend on the left. There's a little bit of archery. We hardly use bow and arrows. Uh, it was pretty effective. He gave us ideas to use in the movie. Kind of like where to shoot from and how to shoot. Especially from the 99 cents. Bows and arrows. Um, we didn't shoot much of this volley. That volley wasn't really So this is costume. But someone else pulled the costume with you. Okay, this is a uh, fighting choreography. We used it pretty well in this movie, not as much, but as much as we can. It really took a long time to shoot. That's my brother right there. We pretty much wanted a fight. We got that from 300, exactly. But we wanted to fight real quick because uh, after we made all this stuff, it took about a month just to get the action started. Uh, doing the school. We got this guy from 300. We used it in the intro. We didn't use it much in the later movie. It's still effective. Getting the shadow in the background. It's just like giving us an idea of how the movie was going to look. Of course, without any sound effects. And like, not really like in music, but kind of there. A little drama. And we were also using our height. That's my cousin. Are there a height of things going on? Because I'm the tallest and my brother is the shortest. So we're trying to see what, like, how our camera angles are going to work here. Kind of keep us all in there. Yeah. Shadow. We'll use that later on in the movie. Uh, kind of got that from 300. The mixture of uh, the video game. Yeah, just pretty much a uh, little killing shots. Just, just to see what it's going to look like. And also just have fun with all the hard work we put into these uh, props here. Took a while. Here's the bow and arrows. We bought these for 99 cents. They're pretty good. They're actually long. Yeah, just too bad they don't stick on the people. Oh yeah, I need my brother in the face right there. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I kind of feel like I'm catching we try to get back right here. Tony didn't try to get him. I just chasing after him. I, he's trying to get me. He's still trying to get off me, but uh, yeah, pretty ridiculous. Oh, this is also the uh, me typing the freaking script. It's probably like 13 pages long. Pretty good script. It's first action. Hey, this is Mikey here. And this is a scene where my inmate, um, Fire, which I learned from Survivor Man on the Skeleton Channel. He was doing with Fritos, and it was kind of a little budget though, but it works. Fritos are flammable. We just, a couple of Fritos, we actually created a whole bonfire. And after, even after the scene, we still stood out for the bonfire and waited out there till night. 
We actually use this I fight as a lot of other scenes. Fritos are flammable. Especially the beginning ones without the action. Like, um, don't breathe. And they're flammable. Though. This is basically.